Hello, this is Margaret Munoz of Tangible Results with some EFT tapping tips for when to tap. This is one of the most frequently asked questions that I get from people who are new who are new to tapping. So let me give you some suggestions. First of all, you want to be tapping as much as possible when things surface for you. So if you whether that's emotional or, or physical so if you've got a headache tap as soon as you can on the headache if you're stuck in a traffic jam you're late for a meeting you're stressed tap i i suggest if if stuff happens at work for people that they go to the bathroom have a tap and then go back when when they're feeling more grounded and centered so it's always good to tap as soon as it's feasible in in the moment when things are happening then what you can do is you can actually set specific periods of time to work on a particular issue so a lot of people make a, a list of, of what they want to, to work on so you can pick one so maybe you want to work on your finances so you'd sit there and You'd work on your finances, hopefully till you could get the, the SUDS level rating down to pretty low and, and you feel comfortable enough to move on. And so you can do that whenever you want. Just pick a topic, sit there and work on it. Then, because it's really good to do as much tapping as you can, we've got, you could call it continuous tapping. And one way of getting as much tapping in as possible is that you can just pick, pick a spot or you can use the finger points. Now the finger points are just where the, the cuticle meets the flesh there. So you can tap this way on them. So it's always uh, on the side facing you. But what's really nifty is that you can hook your index finger over your thumb and tap on the thumb point and you can get your thumb out and you can tap on the finger points and the beauty of this is that you can do it when you're walking along you don't have to do it both hands one hand either hand uh, you can do it under under your desk you can do it on the bus you can do it sitting in the doctor's surgery if you're anxious if you're anxiously waiting the, the thing is that the more tapping you do, the better off you are. Because we know that tapping decreases the flight fight response. So it decreases the levels of cortisol and adrenaline in your body. So the more you tap, the less stress you're likely to feel. And you might say, well, it's so hard to find time to tap. So you can uh, you can get creative about this you can tap in the shower you can uh, tap when you're waiting for the bus you can tap when you're standing waiting for the lift so so there's all sorts of little windows of opportunity that if you're not doing anything else you might just be waiting for somebody so instead of getting impatient about waiting for them just take it as a great opportunity to do some tapping. So I hope this has given you some ideas. And I look forward to being with you again in the next video.